Yes, I support the work of the Equity Leadership Steering Committee. I have no regrets about the statement that we issued back in June. However, I do wish that we would have introduced it to the community in a different manner. And I take full responsibility for that. I just felt as a committee, how important our message was. And I wanted as many people to be able to read it as possible. And I wasn't thinking about um, how other people would interpret it in terms of, or hear, interpret it as us calling them names versus looking at the issues that are built into our society. And I apologize for that. Um, that being said, it is our duty as a school board and as a district to have these conversations because it's not just about all of these overt violent acts against people who are not white, but about those small acts by well-meaning white people committed against people who aren't white. Oh, where are you from? Oh, you're so well-spoken. All of these things that really add up and that we don't, we're unable to see how harmful they are to our students. Over the summer, I spoke with a family. The son um, was a student of color and he had graduated from the district. And he shared with me many difficult interactions he had in the school and he did not feel comfortable coming forward. He told me about his friends who did not feel comfortable t coming forward because they felt that then they would be even attacked more. And these statements, again, weren't necessarily overt, but they were really harmful to him and his development. 